Welcome to the Lindley's Project Information Management System Staff Tutorial Series, PEMS Progress Entries. In this tutorial video, we will cover the creation of progress entries in PEMS. We'll work from a standard laptop computer that is already logged into PEMS with a SAM selected and layers loaded. For this tutorial, we already have an asset selected that has work assigned to us and requires a progress entry. Let's take a look at the Multi-Dwelling Units Overview page on the Asset Panel. We can see that Land Access has approved work on this site and that no progress has yet been recorded. Let's review the outstanding work first. We can see that this apartment building requires 20 meters of cable hauling through underground ducting to be completed. It also requires 6 meters of cable tray and 4 taps. There are two ways of accessing the progress entry page in order to create progress against work tasks. The first is to open the asset menu and click or tap on the progress option. The second is by clicking or tapping the text below any progress bar next to a schedule of rates on the overview page. Here we can see that there are no progress entries against this asset at this time. Clicking or tapping the blue Add button will take us to the Progress Entry Creation page. Here we can see the current status of each schedule of rates assigned to us and create progress against it. The first field we can edit is the Date field. By default, the date is set to the current date according to your device. Progress entries should be made daily and record all progress completed on the day the entry is made. If you are delayed in the creation of a progress entry, you can set the correct date for the work in this field. For this entry, let's leave the date set to today. Below the date is our first schedule of rates. We can see the SOR code, the description, the unit of measure, and claim status. Below this information are three locked fields that give us more details about this work. The design quantity is a fixed field describing the total of this work initially in the design for the service area. The actual quantity is the current real world number for this work. The third locked field is the remaining quantity field. This number is automatically determined by PIMS based on progress entries. It informs us, at any given point, the remaining total of work outstanding against a schedule of rates. Let's take a look at the fields open for editing on this schedule. The Today's Quantity field allows us to record the total work completed against the schedule on a given work day. For this tutorial video, We'll say that we've completed half the cable run through underground duct today. The second field available for editing is a drop box allowing us to select from three work statuses. Partially complete, task complete, and not in scope. As 10 meters of cable run remains to be done, let's leave this set to partially complete. The next work task on our list is the installation of 6 meters of cable tray. Let's report that we have installed all 6 meters. Because the number we have entered in today's quantity equals the remaining work total, PIMS has automatically set our work status to task complete. Our SOR for the installation of MDU security enclosures has an actual and remaining quantity of zero so nothing needs to be done here. The last SOR on our list is the installation of taps. We have an actual and remaining quantity of four taps to be installed. Let's report that we've completed the installation of two taps. Below your final SOR is the Notes field. The Notes field can be used to communicate any important details regarding your progress entry such as work delays or access restrictions. Below your Notes field is the Add Image button. 
On a PC or Mac, the Add Image button will allow you to attach a saved image to your progress entry. On mobile devices, you can choose to use your device's camera directly or upload an image taken with any required geolocational photography app used in your project. Now that we've completed our progress entry, let's select Update Asset to update this asset's database entry and save our progress report. Our entry will be saved and will be taken back to the overview page for this multi-dwelling unit. Let's take a look at how our work listing has changed. We can see that our installation of Hardline Schedule now has a half-completed progress bar and the progress text tells us that 10 meters have been completed and 10 remain. Our cable tray shows complete with a green bar and no remaining quantity text. And our TAPS schedule has been updated to reflect that two TAP installations have been completed.